All right, let's get into this. This one's going to be a spicy one. Today we're talking about Azura's Wrath, Azura's Wrath, Azura's Wrath, whatever it is. This game barely is a game. But before I get into that, let me give you a little bit of pretense, a little Mac story. I've been told a million times through YouTube videos, through friends of friends and their grandmothers who got all lumpy inside playing some Azura's Wrath. And they were like, you got to play it. It makes you all creamy in the pantalones. And I'm like, I don't know, man. It, 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 it seems kind of like a God of War ripoff. Off, which I'm cool with, don't get me wrong, but like, they're like, no, 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 it's different, trust me, trust me, and I finally jump into this game, bro, this game sucks, anyways, anyways, that's the whole, the whole premise of this game is you're Azura, Azura and his wrath, his wrathiness, and that's his swag, is just being wrathy, and you just see how angry he is, right there, look, look at the anger, and then you got this other crew of like celestial beings because you're gods. You're like big powerful beings of gods. And they have this Death Star that kind of looks like Dr. Manhattan. And it's it's fighting a, like an, a thing coming out of the earth because like the earth is like a monster and that's their biggest enemy. Even though you'll later find out that they're also like the supreme beings to like the normal humans down on earth. So, the planet that they're on is their biggest enemy, and the people on that planet are their, are their, like, people, I guess. It's weird. It does, it's so, it's so overly complex. And that's my big problem with a lot of these Japanese-ass Japanese games, is they're like, we're gonna take a very simple premise, right? A very simple premise. And then we're gonna make it as complicated as freaking possible, and we're gonna throw as much random shit at the wall, and then hope it sticks, and then somebody's gonna play this, and they're gonna be like, oh my god, they're gonna be like, rubbing their nipples until they bleed, and then they go to work, and they're like, why is your shirt bleeding, man? Did you get stabbed or something? No, no, I played a Zura's freaking rack, baby, and I rubbed my nipples raw. That's what happened, because you might as well call me Ted Kaczynski, because I killed it, baby. I'm the bomb. Anyways, anyways, you, all these douchebags you see on screen right now, they're all a part of this crew. And basically, basically, they're like the defenders of the people. Because if the Earth hatches, oh shit, everything dies. Like the whole universe. The whole universe goes implode time. And I wasn't like completely out of it at this point. I was like not... If This game feels like it starts... In the middle of the game, like straight up, you 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 don't know what's going on. It's trying to throw dialogue at you, but you're also like shooting shit at the same time, and you're like, I don't know what to pay attention to because so much is going on, and I have no idea what's going on. And I'm trying to like get the lore, but the lore is not really that interesting. It feels like it's just stacked on top of itself to give you the like illusion of interest. But anyway, you beat the stupid thing and you go back to your weird planet because instead of just being gods, no, you're gods and robots and everybody else is like other different types of gods and robots. And you meet up with your family and I'm uh, right away, right away. I had this feeling like I'm putting myself back in my boots of the time right now. I'm, I'm a uh, younger, younger King Jiffy. Bright eyed, bushy penis, looking at the screen like, oh, he's meeting his kids. And in the back of my head's like, bro, they're gonna die. His wife and kids gonna die. It's a cute moment. They're gonna die. And then, and then, whoa, look what happened. Shh, the wife died. The wife died. The kid didn't die, so I wasn't like, holy right. I'll, I'll take, I will take the L there. I'm not swaggy enough to figure out that both of them died. But yo, this shit was cliche, dog. Cliche. Not that cool. And it sucks because, like, this game had some interesting stuff going for it, but it throws it all to the backside, like the back burner, and then gives you a very generic story. The very main story of this game is, oh, Mr. Uh, God of War, I mean Azura's Wrath, loses his family, and now he's all sorts of mad because he's the angry god, like the war god, and now he has to get revenge for getting his wife killed, and also being framed for, like, killing the supreme leader or whatever it is in this world. I mean, he seems like the leader. He's like this monk dude that you just walk into the chambers because he wants to talk to you. Oh, he's dead. Wow, dude, this doesn't seem like everything ever to be ever made for a video game. But I'm sitting here and I'm like, okay, maybe he's going to do something different. Spoilers, bitch! It doesn't. It doesn't do anything. Different. It is that generic. But this game 
thinks that it's freaking special. And this game thinks it's so goddamn special that it puts itself out like it's a goddamn anime. You play this games in episodes and parts. So you'll play like three episodes, right? And each episode ends with like credits. And then it has like a teaser for the next section that you're just about to play. And it's not like these are even that long. You play like one of these fighting sections, right? One cool badass fighting section. Because I have to give it to this game. When this game is slapping clit, it's slapping freaking clit. It, dude, it's getting in there just and the girl's like, ha, 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 and it's going hard, dude. But no, 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 and it has to take the controller out of your hand. You got to sit there and watch cutscenes for 45 minutes, and then you stop the cutscenes because the episode ends to watch cutscenes talking about what's going to happen in the next episode that you're just about to play. But before you can play that next episode, you get like screenshot, not screenshots, but like art cutscenes where it's like people talking and it's just art in lore dumps and so then you go from that to the actual beginning of the episode which is another cutscene before you play the game for 15 minutes and then get the controller yanked out of your hand to do it all over again except for when you get to the end of a, a whole part which is like a bunch of like three episodes and then at the end of the part you get to watch credits like the game fucking ended but it didn't fucking end because you have more time to play in the game and all this does is make this a very cut up experience so you never actually feel like you're playing a fucking game. You feel like you're watching an anime, which only is proven by the fact that when I made this video the first time, I actually got it copyrighted because I put like a scene from a cutscene in this game, like too long of a scene. And they're like, well, that's copyrighted material. And I'm like, the fuck? What is this? A TV show? We oh, wait, it is. They're treating it like a fucking TV show. That's what this game is. And I'm so sick of people like, jizzing over this title because it's not bad like don't get me wrong i have like a lot of vitriol going into this right now a lot of hate i'm steaming baby i'm like i'm like a bunch of like woman juice sprayed onto a hot asphalt like sidewalk like on this on like the road next to the sidewalk right i'm like a woman spray on that and it's just steaming into the air that's me right now it seems and i don't hate this game the game's base combat is super fun the one boss fight in this game where you are, there's two boss fights in this game where you actually are a badass and it's super amazing and it's ginormous. Like, it has these moments where it could be perfect. One of the main bosses early on you fight is this giant behemoth. I mean, he turns into a giant behemoth. He's already fat, but then he's like, I'm the size of the world and I'm going to poke you so hard in the dick that it's going to become an innie, not an Audi. And you're like, holy shit, man, I better hit these button prompts or it's going to be a fucking innie. And I was like, this is cool. I like this. These are great moments. And I'd seen clips from this game throughout, like I said, a long time. And I saw like you're fighting giant Buddhas and you're fighting all these huge things. Most of this game, if you buy the base game, you do not get to play that. So the few moments like this you get in the game, that's it. Unless you buy like the 16 DLCs for this game. Because like I said, this show, this game thinks it's a TV show, right? It thinks it's an anime. So all the boss fights are mainly just quick time events that a lot of the quick time events you can't even freaking fail, dude. You can't even fail. You just like watch it, let you beat it. And then you go to just look at the DLCs and it's like episode blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I don't even know what episodes to jump into. And I don't think I enjoy this game enough to jump into them. And why would I embark on more of a game that's not even a video game? It, it's not even like a good anime, right? I've watched some dope ass anime. I'm not like a weeb or anything. I do enjoy anime from time to time. But if you come in with that fucking woo woo shit into my chat... Woo! Actually, do come into my with, into my chat with some woo-woo shit. Just, like, come into my chat. I, not, not, like, on your phone. Don't, like, jerk off onto your phone and, like, try to come into the chat because I, that'll fry your hardware. Do it into a paper towel or something. I, I don't know. But, like, do comment on my video. Subscribe. Like. Do that shit. I appreciate it. I put in a solid effort, I do think. Anyway, so you fight these big bosses, right? And I, I know that I've been bouncing around a lot and I've kind of been like hit or miss, but I don't hate the game. It's got its moments. It really does, but I'm not going to pay 16 DLCs like I said. I, I want the whole experience in the game. I don't mind one DLC and actually, you know, I was just thinking about it. I, I've been I've been a little too harsh on this game. You're right. You're right. I, I, I really didn't like think about its assets. Like it has a few of them and I, I didn't I remember the splash party now. Okay. I remember the Splash Party, and this game is fucking legendary. It's the greatest game ever made. 
I, I, I resent every complaint that I have. And, um, oh god, those are nice. No, I'm just fucking with you guys. I'm just messing with you. I, I actually still have all the, all the same vitriol. I'm not that much of a, a fucking simp, bro. Yes, I like me some titties, but it's not gonna distract me from this game being mid. It's not gonna distract me. I'm not that much of a fucking incel. No, sir, I am not. I do like having a splash party, but it still was like, okay, yeah, you're doing this. You're a God of War ripoff. Why didn't you just let me fuck him? Right? Why didn't you just let me any outy, okay? Why didn't you let me, like, slippy sloppy? And I know somebody's gonna be like, well, you misunderstood the game. No, I didn't. I understand everything that's going on. I understand the premise it's going for. What this game is, though, is it's, it's an ego trip, bro. It, it's somebody, whoever made this game was like, I want to make an anime, but I also want to make God of War. What if I make both? And neither of them are good. It's a bad God of War ripoff because the combat never evolves, right? Every boss fight's the exact same, except for one, which we're gonna come up on, and I will fucking shower this game in praises when that comes. But all the other boss fights are the exact same games, even the ones where you don't have arms, it plays the same, like the one you're watching now. You're, I, I thought this was going to be cool, I was going to do different things. Nope, you just don't have arms, you use legs instead of fists. That's the only difference. And I just constantly uh, get into these combat arenas and I'm like, okay, this is cool, what, I wonder what I'm going to unlock next, I wonder what I'm going to do next. It's like, oh, well here's a flying section, back to the regular combat, here's a flying section, back to the regular combat, and I'm like... Oh, wait, that, wait, 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 I messed up. Then there's quick time event, quick time event, quick time event, quick time event. And then I mentioned it has fucking quick time events. This whole game is quick time event the game. It's worse than like Telltale because at least Telltale lets you choose your destination. Like you get to influence which direction a Telltale game goes. But not this game, it just kind of fucking plays out and you hit buttons every now and then. I mean, some people probably like that. Actually, a lot of people like that. They call this shit a hidden gem. You want to know a hidden gem? Go play Gungrave Gore. That game got like a 5 on uh, fucking Metacritic. And that game is fucking amazing. It is actually shooting bricks out of your dick without pain. Like, you know how painful that would be? I mean, I hear that like... Passing, like, uh, the stones, you know, gallstones or whatever they're called, through your, like, urethra, not your ear, if you're a man, you, it's your, whatever it's called, I, I don't know, the penis tube. I'm not a doctor, leave me the hell alone, I make videos about video games on the internet, I'm not here to be, like, doctor fucking know-it-all. No, but, like, when you're passing stones, that sounds painful, and, like, Gungrave Gore, you're shooting bricks without a fucking pain in the world, it feels great. So, when I played this game, and I'm told that it's uh, it's like that hidden gem secret that nobody knows about, but everybody talks about. And then I play this shit, and I have, this is the one boss fight, right? It was good. If this game would have been this boss fight, throughout the entire experience, I would be mad chilling, I would be showering this game with praise, I'd be saying, ooey booey, this is a good game. I would not say that, dude. I don't even know where the fuck that came from. I'm like sitting here, recording this video, confused at where that came from. But no, this boss fight was fun because the whole time it has like different moves you gotta dodge. It actually like makes you play the game, makes you think about your next move, makes you try to figure out how to like maneuver around these different incoming attacks. That was cool to me. And then the rest of the game goes back to this. Point, shoot things. It's not like good shooting either. It's just sort of aim and it's clunky and it's weird. And then rip off God of War, but worse God of War. Like you want to play a good God of War knockoff? Go play Dante's Inferno. I actually think Dante's Inferno is like up there at the top with like God of War type games, including God of War 3. I think it's as good as God of War 3. I think it's better than God of War 1 easily. Like way better than God of War 1. It might be better than God of War 3, but at the same time, I'm not the guy that needs to say that, but we'll make a Dante's Inverno video one day. One day, and I will I will blast ribbons in the air from my toes, because I will... Okay, before I go on talking about toe ribbons, that chick you just saw bouncing around, she distracted me the whole time. Every time she came on screen, and she'll come back around, like right around now. Her outfit straight up looks like that she's wearing a shirt that's showing her nipples without showing her nipples and it like drove me nuts. There was one time when I was watching like the art cutscenes where it's just like text on a screen over art and I was like whoa did they just put her naked did she just get naked for this conference and I'm like oh no that's her shirt. 
her shirt has nipples on it. In the exact same place her regular nipples would be. Because that makes sense. I mean, it, it's not bad design. I mean, I'm not complaining. She was one of the highlights of the game with just say, trying to figure out how much like nipples her shirt makes her uh, boobs look like. If that makes sense. Fucking wrap your brain around that, uh, compadres. Fucking friend of Ruskies. But one thing that really did throw me off other than nipple shirt was like when the game decided to switch things up and let you play as uh, Azura's brother-in-law, you know, his dead wife's brother. And I was like, okay, I always knew that uh, Mr. Wear a, a shield over his face was going to be a good guy. He just seemed out of place with the other douchebags. And I was like, okay, so when I started playing as him, I'm like, ah, yeah, this is kind of neat. But he plays the same as Azura, basically the exact same, but he's just faster and does like fast moves instead. It, it doesn't feel much different. It doesn't shake things up that much. It's basically the same shit. And the reason it has to be the same shit is because the game never evolves its combat. Not for Azura, not for this guy. And if it was gonna, like, throw you for a curve at towards the end of the game, it's not really towards the end, it's like three quarters through, it's not gonna do that. It's not gonna throw you for a curve because it's already established that the combat's not getting any better. It's not evolving. It's gonna be the same shit you played 30 minutes into the game, which in actual gameplay time is... Like, five minutes. It's like five minutes. The whole game could be played. Like, just gameplay. I'm betting this whole game could be beaten in an hour. And it truly made me sad, because, like, I can see the groundwork for something great here. This could have been good. I mean, I don't even want this game to get a sequel, because I don't even feel like it fleshed out the ideas it had enough to be good enough to get a sequel. I hear people claiming, oh, this game deserved a sequel, it was so good, it was underrated. No, 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 this game, whatever it got, was rated fine. Because it didn't get a sequel, it didn't deserve a sequel, I don't know why people still talk about it. Yeah, it had big boss fights. whoop de freaking do so did God of War, and so did De uh, Dante's Inferno, and, like... We are still getting, we're not getting more Dante's Inferno, which makes me sad, but we are still getting God of Wars, where you fight big bosses, so, and we have, like, fucking Do Do Dragon's Dogma and Monster Hunter. This game was boring. It was boring. It was a sleep fest. I did not enjoy it. Fucking 6 out of 10. I, I don't, I won't give a game a less than, like, a, a 5 out of 10, unless it's broken, unless it, like, doesn't work. Or if it, unless it's Redfall. Redfall gets like a fucking negative 20. That game pissed me off. Worst game of last year. But yeah, no. Even when I got my daughter back, I was like, who cares? Who fucking cares? He doesn't even look like he cares. He's just sitting there staring at her. You know, like, oh, grumpy. I'm always mad. I'm always, I'm, a, I'm, I'm wrathful. I'm Azura's wrath. And then the brother's staring at the fucking sky. And then they gotta go blow up the world. Okay. Oh, how original. You're just like Star Wars, except for lamer, with like God of War, Star Wars ripoff, like no respect for my time game, that's what you are. Oh yeah, look at his mouth gaping, that's how I was at the end of this game, just gaping mouth, blowing a giant load in my pants, both piss, shit, cum, all sorts of gross stuff, my couch is stained forever. I, it wasn't like good either, it was just like a sad version of that, like just, uh, and then I just like ruined my couch. Anyways guys, that's all I got. I don't care. This girl sucked. Everything about this game sucked. I'm out.